Hello, Madeline. How are you today? Hello, Madeline. How are you today? Hello. Good huh? evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am fine. Thanks, God. Fresh. Because okay. Today very is good. a very nice evening. No hot. It's not hot today. No. no. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for the class. I'm ready. Okay. Now, remember that you can take the midterm. After this class, you can take the midterm. Okay? The test. I, no I, did, I did the midterm. I did. You did, I did the, the test. Meter. You did it. Let me see. Yes. Let me see. Okay. Look for, please. I am going to look. What was your score? 10. Always. Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. Did you find it? I, I am. Uh, I. This, uh, the program is still loading, so in a minute. Yes, yes. Two, two seconds, and I will let you know. Yes, I was studying all day. Okay, so let me see. I need to improve. I need to improve my my English. No, you haven't taken the the te the midterm. Ah, yes, you did a hundred percent. Very good. Okay, ah, Andrea, Bessie, Blanca, you, ah, Daniel, you, Maria Eugenia, Ninive. Hey, very good. That is very good. Okay. So let me take all, all, that all my classmates. Did it. No, not all, all of my them. Class but, did the, it. but the majority did it. Okay. The majority is my did. Score? The score, my score all is of them, one hundred percent. All of them. Yes, but I don't understand in the in the second uh, part of the the book. Uh, I I have only the the eighty, but I don't know. Maybe I did all. Okay, I do it. All. Do it again. Do it again. In that part, let me see. Uh, let me let me tell you. Okay, in the second section, do it again. Do all the section again. No, I have do, only do all, all do all uh, section two again. Eighty. Okay? Yeah, so you can get a hundred percent. All right. Eighty eighty percent. I have eighty percent, but yeah, I did but... do it. I did it. I'll... I did all. Do it again. Do it again until you get a hundred percent. Again? Yeah, Why? Again. Do it again. I cannot. Yeah, you can. And the platform can. you can you can do it as many times as you want. Okay, so you can do it. No problem. Uh. I, I thought only one, no, only one can, day. That's what oh, I'm telling you. Do it, that's what I'm telling you. Do it again. Do uh, it again because you can do it again and until you get 100%. And probably because there was a mistake on the platform. So I want you to do it again, please. Okay? No, all, all is good. All is good. I don't have mistakes. Okay, I don't but, have my mistakes in the second part. Do it again. Do it again. Mm -hmm. Believe me. Do it I, again. I, I did the, the, um, uh, what else? I, I don't know what is the word, but I did all the answers, the, the questions, the question after the video conference at the video. The, the, the video conference, after that, I did the question. Okay. And so answer no the question to my class. The question uh, from my, my classmate, I did all. Okay, but uh, do and it I, again. Do and it. I have the 80%. 
Yeah, but do it again and you're gonna get 100%. So go ahead, do it again, no problem, okay? Do you understand, Adelina? Do it again, please, okay? Okay, my my score, finally a score, I don't know what is. Yeah, but- Because but I, I, I saw, I saw a, a 46 percent at the, the in my my score I I saw. Okay, but anyway, do it again. Okay, do it again. Okay, no problem. Do it again. It so you can get a hundred percent. You want a hundred percent, right? Don't you? Yes, I understand, but I I think only a first time uh, can. No, you can you can do it as many uh, only... times as many times as you wish. Okay. The platform, the platform don't per, don't don't allow. The platform yes, it, only it allows one. you. Believe me, it allows you. I'm telling you, do it again. And you will see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, believe me. Hello, Alicia. Hello. Hello Alicia. Good evening. How are you good today? Good evening. Hey, good evening. I'm great. And you? I, well, very yeah, well. Okay. Did you, Thanks, guys. Did you do the pattern? <laughs> the west what's the name the exam mm. did you do the exam you haven't what taken exam? the exam right alicia why haven't you taken the exam it's okay after the review correct what exam? yes i i will i will do the exam after the review not before <laughs> everybody <laughs> has done it before and they got a hundred percent in the midterm Oh my God, I, I didn't do, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> but no problem, you're gonna get 100% too, okay? Okay. <laughs> so that is no I'm, problem. Teacher, but but uh, it's necessary, it was necessary do it uh, before? before the class? No, not really. Okay. Not really. Because but I understand that the, this review, it helps you for, for the exam. Exactly. No? This review will help you, okay, on the test. Okay. Okay. So, very good. Very good. Okay. So, now let me get back to you. Okay. How are you, Osman? You haven't done the test. I'm fine, teacher. Osman. Hello, Osman. Hello. Hello, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Uh, what about you? <laughs> All is good. Okay. Uh, teacher, uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, but but what what is the test? I think this class is to review yes. is to review uh, last class. Correct. Other last class, I think. But the I, test I, is I, in the correct, Osman. But I have, but I have a, a question, teacher. But I have, a, dude, you uh, have it's a about, uh, Yes, uh, it's about uh, exercise in platform. Ah, you heard okay, me? no problem. Okay. Uh, wait, wait it, a minute. Um, okay, okay, teacher. Okay, now. Eh, very good. Oh, man. Okay, guys. So let's talk about what we have to do today. Okay. <laughs> what is your question for today? Teacher, I, I, I haven't, I haven't finished uh, all exercise in the platform, uh, but. Um, tomorrow I going to well first first God I going to finish uh, all exercise, but I have a question about <coughs> about exercise three point three. Ah okay. 
I, 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 so remember that I you, couldn't, you I need to do. finish homework number three and homework number four. Okay? So you have to finish homework yes. number three and homework number four. Okay? okay? So that is for tomorrow. For tomorrow, before tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Homework, homework four. Uh, what homework, teacher? Always in platform? Yeah, on the platform. Homework three and homework four. <laughs> Okay. Teacher, uh, my, my, my remember my section my one all, all the homeworks from section one and section two must be completed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Section one. Section one and section complete. two. You remember section oh, okay, teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher, uh, I I finish I finish uh, sec section one and two, all right? Okay. Now uh, I am in I am in section, section three. Okay, but section three are the classes for next week. And section yes. four are the classes On for- On Monday. Monday. <laughs> is On it Monday. unit three? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is unit On three. On Monday we have. Mm -hmm. That is product line. So we haven't, we haven't seen product line yet. Yes. Okay? So that is for okay. next week. Section three and four. Okay. Section three, we're going to be doing okay. next week. And the last week, we are going to be uh, doing section four. And then you take thought, the final. Okay? Okay, I thought... Uh, so, no, only okay. section one and section two must be completed. Section two. Section okay. two must be completed. Okay. okay. <coughs> now, I did, I did all exercise, teacher. Okay, so you are okay. No problem. So you are okay. Okay. So you already did the midterm too, which is okay. Okay, that's exactly what we expected. Hello, Thank Blanca. You. Long time no see you, Blanca. Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> Turn on your microphone, Blanca. Hello, teacher. Hello, long time no see you, Blanca. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, teacher, I have two problems today. My, ah, you had problems, okay, my, uh, yesterday my, and the day before yesterday. Uh, yesterday, uh, my husband sick. Ah, your husband was sick? Yes. Okay, very good. With, okay. With but he's fever. okay now. So-so. Um, so so um, Yes, it, he uh, he had sonda. Oh. He has what? Sonda. Una sonda. Ah, ah. He has a uh, intravenous. Uh, oh, I see. So, but is he okay? Um, is he uh, stable? Morning, yes, stable. He is stable. Okay. Very good. Yes. Very good. Uh, I am wait, waiting the exam. Mm. Okay. Now, remember that you can take the exam. No problem. Okay. okay. Oscar, uh, remember section two? So do the homeworks again. Okay. Because your score is... 2.4. I think. 40%. But you can do, you can do them again and that will improve your score, okay? Okay. Okay, so try to do it. So tomorrow when I upload the, the grades, you're gonna be okay. Okay. All right? Yeah. Very good. Teacher, teacher. Yes? Can you see my score? Yeah. 100, 100, uh, 100. Okay. And me, teacher? And Alicia, at 180. So you can go to section two and do it again. Ah, okay. Okay, so you can improve so you have a 100 it. Too. Okay. Blanca 100. has 100, 100, 100. You already did the test, Blanca. Okay. And, Hello, uh, teacher. Huh? Hello. Yes? Yes, I'm listening. Tell me my score is the, if it's 10%. 102. So
So, uh, let me see. Yeah, Blanca has 100, 100, and 100. Okay? So, only waiting for homework number three, which is section three and section four. Okay? So, I recommend you if you... If you don't uh, don't have 100%, go to that, go to that, and do it again. For example, okay. Alicia, you go to section uh -huh. two and uh -huh. do section two again. Now, okay. if there is one homework, do you have 100%? Don't do that one anymore. Go to the homework that you don't have okay. 100%, okay? And do it again. Okay. Is that clear, mm -hmm. Oscar? Okay. Oscar? Yes, it's clear. Yes, okay. So go to the homeworks in which you didn't get 100%. Okay. okay. And um, you will improve. You will improve your grades. Okay. Okay. Very good. Uh, teacher, okay. Yeah, teacher. Let's review. Uh huh. Yes. Do you have any other? Uh, yes, teacher. I have a complete, completed my homeworks, all the homeworks in my case. In your case. Uh, okay. Let me see. I have to go and check, okay? Let me uh -huh. see. Uh... <laughs> Blanca, are you listening to me? Yes. Okay, yes, give, me, uh, give me your I email. You, give but, me your email. Uh, uh, but can you can you can you tell me your email address? My email. Email, email address. Never mind, never mind. I'm gonna get it from here. Okay, uh, let me see documents right here. Teacher, I hear it uh, between cut, entrecortado. Ah, can you hear me now? What is your email address? Don't worry, I'm picking it up right now. Blanca, uh, Blanca, okay, I got it right here, okay. Yes, you have completed homework number one and homework number two. And in my case, teacher, in my case, Alicia? In your case, Alicia. Uh -huh. Yeah, Alicia. Yes. Uh-huh, okay, this, okay, now let me go to Alicia. Uh-huh, That was, Please. that was Blanca Estela. Now, Alicia, wait, Alicia. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Alicia. Okay, in the case of Blanca, completed homework, 100%, homework one, homework two, 100%, so everything in the midterm, 100%. Now we go it's with uh, Alicia. Alicia, yes. Wait, Complete. wait, one at a time, one at a time. When I finished okay. all my. Okay, here we go. Okay, Alicia, in your case. Teacher. Alicia, uh huh. Alicia, homework number two. You haven't completed, you have 80%, and you haven't done the. Ah, okay. Third. So that's what you have to complete. Remember, if you did, okay, okay. If you did home, uh, section two homework, 
Uh, homework number mm -hmm. two refers to all the homeworks in section number two. So you have to review okay. the homeworks that you don't have a hundred percent, do them again and take the midterm. Is that clear? Okay. Okay, the next one is Madeline, okay. right? Okay, teacher. Madeline, okay, let yes. me see, Madeline. It's gonna show me the same, Madeline, that you need okay. to go to homework, to section two. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you need to go to I section saw. number two and complete the homework in section number two. That's all. The midterm okay. 100 and section one homework 100. Is that clear? Okay, very good. Okay, very thank good. you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Daniel. Daniel also has 100. Okay, Raul. Raul, you have to go to Hello. section, yeah, you have to go to section number two, Raul, in the platform, section yes. number two, and do the homeworks, okay, Be because you have 40%. So you have to go to all the homeworks in section number two, and the ones that you don't have 100%, do them again, and take the midterm, okay? In the case okay. of Oscar, you have to go to section number two and do the homeworks that you don't have 100%. So you can do them again, no problem, okay? Is that clear? Very good, more questions? Okay. If you don't have any questions, okay, let's start by going to the book, okay? The book. The book, okay, so let me share the screen with you. Okay. 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 Let me share the screen with you. Ah, before. Okay. You remember this? What page? Wait, wait, wait. We're going to start on page number 10. Okay. But you remember this, right? So, National English Word Program, Intermediate 2, Module 2, Facilitator, Robert Dequa. Okay, now we are looking at Unit 1 and Unit 2, Product mm -hmm. Development and Product Testing. The same yeah. thing, remember, right? Say your name, say present when I call your name, and you must have your camera on when I take. Now, we already talked about the platform completion. Now, another thing is that you should write your post on the forum okay don't forget write your opinion okay in the forum okay very good now today is video conference number 15 and it's about the midterm exam review and practice okay so we are going to review vocabulary and grammar from units one and two okay and what is the agenda we are going to review product development vocabulary. That is unit number one. We are going to review the present perfect. That is also unit one. We are going to review reducing adverb clauses. That is also unit number one. Review bare agreement with complex subjects. That is unit number two. Review product testing vocabulary. That is unit number two. Review focus groups and review transition words okay so that is the agenda that we have for today so okay. for that i need you to go to i need you to go to the to the book okay and in the book let me see where i have the book i have the book right here Okay, so page number 10. Do you remember this? Product development, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is number one? What is the first step? Do you remember what is the first step? 
Development I, testing. For product development, no, yeah. For product development, do you remember what was the step number idea, one? Idea, idea generation. Aha, uh -huh. idea generation was number one. If you want, uh -huh. you can you can have your book open, okay? So uh -huh. number uh -huh. one was idea generation. What was number two? Idea screening. Idea screening was number two. Very good. What was number three? What was the third step? Do you remember? Best marketing? No. Product okay. development? Development. Uh -huh. Concept development and testing? No. Concept development and testing is number three. Right? Okay. Concept development and testing is number three. Now, what is number mm. four? Mm. Test marketing? marketing? No, no, yeah, that is number five. Business uh, analysis. Business, business analysis. analysis, that is correct. Business mm. analysis. What is number six? No, number five, teacher. No, number six. Ah, yeah, number five. Test marketing. Test marketing. No. Product development. Product, Product development. development. Oh, that okay. is correct. Product development. Then? Test marketing. Test, Test marketing. marketing. Very good. Then? Uh, launch. launch. No. Launch oh. is the last one. You remember? Commercial. Commercialization. 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 You have to see how you are going to commercialize your product and then you launch it right mm -hmm. that clear yes. yes okay so again what is number one idea generation, idea generation. Idea generation. number two idea, sc idea screening idea screening number three concept development and testing concept development and testing number four Business analysis. Business analysis. Business analysis. analysis. Very good. Number six. Number five. Test Product marketing. No, no. Product development. Product, Product development. development. That is correct. Uh, okay. Product development. Then. Test, Test marketing. marketing. Test marketing. marketing. That is number six. Number seven. Commercialization. Commercialization. And number eight. Lounge the product. Okay. Very good. Vocabulary and the process. Now, do you remember what is a prototype? Yes. Yes, it is, it's a model. Uh -huh. What is uh -huh. a target audience? You remember? Do you remember what is the target audience? The, the objective, the objective commerce customers. Exactly. Is the market segment that we are going to aim our product. Objective. Then you know what is manufacturing, right? Yes. Okay, and positioning. Okay, very good. Now, do you remember what is this? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, so what is what is this? You have to ask for the customer's opinion. Um, test marketing. Test marketing. That is correct. No, number, you have to ask for the customer's opinion is concept development and testing. Oh, okay. Okay, do you remember? Okay, okay. Okay, what is this? In this stage, research has to be conducted. Uh, test marketing. Test marketing, that is correct. In this stage, research has to be Conductor, in order to be sure that the product will be accepted. So that is test marketing. That is test marketing. Now, once the... 
teacher. Yes. Is the test marketing is the second? No, yeah, this is, okay, here is test marketing, number two. So you're right here, number, number two, two, which is test marketing. Mm -hmm. This one, you have to ask for the customer's opinion, that is concept development and testing. Concept yeah. development and testing. Now, what is the next one? Once the product has been approved, it will be taken to be massively produced. Sounds. That is? And of product development. Product development, right? Once the yes. product mm -hmm. has been approved, it will be mm -hmm. taken to massively produce. Okay, now, it presents the model product to be appreciated as a whole by the potential customer. It presents the model product to be appreciated as a whole by the potential customer. So that is? Uh -huh, what happens? That is lounge. Right? No. It's lounge. when you launch the product. Okay. Now, these steps, these steps guarantees that failing idea be discarded immediately. Um, idea screening. Exactly, very good. That is idea screening. Because in these steps, the ideas that don't go with your product development are discarded immediately. Okay, next. A careful design plan is important to make sure about the acceptance of the product. What is that? A careful design plan is important to make sure about the acceptance of the product. Commercialization. No, 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 no. Product development. No, we already have product development right here. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. So that is business analysis, right? A careful design plan is important to make sure about the acceptance of the product. Now, brainstorming. Idea generation. Idea generation. That is correct. Idea generation. And here, once the idea has been completed, the product must be taken to a location where the customers can get it. Launch. No, launch is this one, okay? Commercialization. Commercialization, that is correct, commercialization, okay? Okay, so you got it, right? Commercialization. Any questions so far? No. No questions? Okay. No questions. Now, let's see. Uh, present perfect. You remember the present perfect? Yes. Okay. So, yes. in question, well, we have two auxiliaries. Have and has. We use have for I, you, we, and they. And we use has for he, she, and it. She. When there is a question, we place it in the first, we place it before the subject. And you lost your sentences, mind. affirmative sentences, you lost your is, mind. Pl is placed after yeah, the subject. And the negative is having. And for has, the negative is has. It. has it. Remember, when I talk about he, she, and it, I use has. When I talk about are you, we, they, I use have. have. Remember? So what is this? A lot of companies, this is what you have to use. A lot of companies. And remember the past participle, the past have. participle. What is the past participle of grow? Uh 
Okay, so it's grow, <coughs> the base form, the past tense is grew, and the past participle is grown. 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 Okay, grown, grown. Grow, grew, grown. Grow, grew, grown. Okay, very grown. good. Let's go back to the book again. Book, 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 where is the book? Right here. Let me put this away. I don't need it anymore. Okay. So let's see the book again. Okay, number two. New members of a product line. And here is the verb that we are supposed to use. Attract. What is the past participle of attract? Attract is attractive, right? Attractive. 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 Uh -huh. So in this case, in this case is attract is the base form. And the past tense is attractive. Okay, and remember, this is regular verb because ends in ed. So the simple past and the past participle is the same. Is that clear? Past participle. Okay. Uh, simple past and past participle of regular verbs are the same. Now, all regular verbs, all regular verbs end in ed. Okay? Questions? No, I don't, I, I don't have. Are you sure? Yes. <clears throat> okay, very good. Let's go back. Okay, let, okay, let's finish this exercise. We, and this is the verb right here. Decide is a regular verb too. So ends in ED. I so what is the, what is the correct? Decided. Uh huh. So we decided. Have, we have decided. We have decided to expand on our product. Okay. Some companies. This is the verb. Now they ask for the negative form. So some companies. It's plural. Haven't. They haven't. They haven't. And this is a regular verb. Succeeded. Succeeded. Uh -huh. It's a regular verb. <clears throat> so, the past tense is succeed and the past tense is succeeded. Succeeded. Okay, and remember, simple past, past regular verb, simple past. past and past participle are the same. Only the irregular verbs, <laughs> the simple, and some, some irregular verbs, Simple past and past participle are different, but regular verbs are the same. Simple past and past participle. Okay? Okay. Very good. Now, let's move on to, to the next one. Okay? So this is a question, and here is the verb. So what is the question? Have it. Have and you ever bought? Exactly. Have you bought. ever bought any Have highly recognized product any lines? Highly recognized. Very bought. good. Have you ever bought? Both. Yeah, past participle. Both. Let me put it right here, okay? In this case, this is a regular verb that is the same, right? Buy. Bought. Bought. And but is the same, is the both. same thing, okay? Both. So past participle, this is a, an irregular verb. 
Why? Because it doesn't end in ED. Now, uh, it's a coincidence that this irregular verb, the simple past and the past participle is the same. That is a coincidence. Okay? Questions? No questions. Okay, okay let's move on to the next one, please. No questions. Okay, let's go and move on to the next one. Ah, the last one. Here is a question too. Can you see? It's a it's regular. Have yeah, this is a regular verb. Uh -huh. So, have this uh -huh. but your company is, what is, is it singular or is plural? It's plural. No, your company is singular or singular. plural? Singular. It's singular, okay? So your company, the, the pronoun instead of the company will be it, right? So what is the auxiliary for it? Has. 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 So it has to be has your company ah, yes. designed, right? Designed a new product was designed. recently. Designed. Designed. Uh -huh. designed. Has your company designed? That is correct. Very good. So let's move on. Okay, here, do you remember the SWOT analysis? <laughs> Okay, yes. now, what? strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Yes. Read number one, read number one, Madeline. Uh, provide an analysis of the company's advantage over its compet competitors. Uh -huh. What is that? Um, strengths. It's a strength. strength. That is strength. strength. Those are strength. strengths. Okay, strength. now, read strength. number two, Alicia. Consider areas in which the companies are at a competitive disadvantage. Okay, so what is that? Weaknesses. Weaknesses, that is correct. Weaknesses. That is weaknesses. Weaknesses. Okay, now read the next one, Oscar. Are, are a list of unexploited markets or business development. development. Uh -huh. And what is that? Opportunities. 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 Very good. Now, read this, uh, Osman. Explore the external environment that could affect, cool. affect, affect. affect the company, including technical, technological, 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 technological Environment and regulate, regulado, regulatory know, regulatory factors. Uh -huh. Aha, it's environmental. 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 Okay, very good. So those that is what. Now reduce adverb clauses. Okay, do you remember this? Yeah. Okay. Now let me explain you again. Okay. Here we have two clauses. One is an independent clause, independent because you don't need anything in that clause to make sense, to explain itself. You don't need anything, only the clause. And you have a dependent clause. That dependent clause needs the independent clause to make logical sense. Is that clear? So, for example, when we say yes. after we conduct a SWOT analysis, if I only stay with those words, that doesn't make a logical or a complete idea. It doesn't complete. So, do you see? This is the dependent clause. Okay? This is an adverse clause. Now, look at this one. We will know whether to go on or stop with this project. So, that one is an independent clause because that one explains itself, completes an idea. Mm -hmm. This one does not complete an idea. It needs this one to make a logical sense, okay? So you have to identify the dependent clause. In this case, the dependent clause is this. Okay, 
So here we can reduce that adverb clause because we have the words before, after, since, and while, okay? So another way to recognize, recognize the dependent clauses is that they start with these words, okay? They start with these words. Okay, so here, we recognize this is the dependent clause. So, to reduce, right here, start reading, please, Rafael. To reduce an adverb clause to a phrase, do the following. Do the following. Blanca, what is the first thing that we have to do, Blanca? Blanca, are you there, Blanca? Hello, teacher. Hello. Yes, okay. What is the first thing that we need to do? Uh, Read that. Eliminate. Eliminate the subject in the adverse clause. In the adverse clause. So that means that I'm going to eliminate this. Okay? I'm going okay. to eliminate that. So, okay. I, can, I put right here, after, and you see the verb. The verb is right here. I eliminated the subject. Can you see? Yes. Now, what is the next step? <laughs> Let me see who, who else is here. Uh, Raul. What is the next step, Raul? If the Klaus. The Klaus has a form of the verb being. Eliminated. Eliminated. Okay. This adverb clause doesn't have an auxiliary verb. So we don't have to eliminate it because we don't have an auxiliary verb. Okay. Very good. Now, the last one. Let me see who else is in class. Let me see. Ninive. Read this, please. Read this. If okay. the clause. If the clause has any other verb different from B, add ENG. ING. ING. Okay. So the clause has another verb, conduct. Okay. I will put conduct and it tells me that I add ING. So I add ING. So you see now the adverb clause is reduced. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know. And the rest, the independent clause, remains the same. You don't touch the independent clause. Is that clear? Okay. Yes. Yes? Okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. There, are, there is a condition, though. To do this, there is a condition. What is that condition? Okay. The reduction is said right here. Ah. Okay, let's see, uh, yeah, the reduction, uh, let me see who else is here. Let me see, Veronica, are you there, Veronica? <coughs> Veronica? Vanessa? Marta Beatriz. I'm here. Okay, Marta Beatriz, can you read here the reduction? Can the reduction is please? only okay. The reduction is only possible when the subject of the adverse clause and the independent clause are the same. Aha. Uh -huh. Now let's take a look. Let's analyze. What is the subject here in this clause? We. We. What is the subject in this independent clause? Also we. So in this case, the reduction is possible. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, very good. Yes. So let's analyze this. Now, let's go to number 2A and 2B. Before we make a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats that could affect the company. Now, let's analyze. What is the subject here? We. We. What is the subject here? We. we. 
So it's the same subject. So I can make the reduction. Now, step number one, eliminate the subject. So we are going to eliminate we. So before, and I put make. Make. Uh, number two, if the clause has a form of the verb be eliminated. No, we don't have a form of verb be. Am, um, are, is, was, where, have been, has been. We don't have it. So yes. let's go to number three. If the clause has any other verb different from be, add ing. What is the other verb? Make. So Make. we're going to add ing. Make. Very simple, right? Making. We eliminate the subject and to the main verb we add ing. So before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities. Questions? Any. I don't have no. any questions. No question. Okay, let's analyze no this, this example right here. 3A. Before the new product project gets a green light, what is the subject here? We. The subject we. is the, the new, new product. product. The new product. Now. The new product. Now, what is the subject here? We. Ah, uh, we. we. Are they the same subjects? No. 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 So? No. The subject is read right here. Uh, Maria Eugenia? Maria Eugenia, right? Maria Eugenia, are you there, Maria Eugenia? Let me see. Participants. Blanca Osman. Ah, ah. Raul. Read this, please. <clears throat> exactly. The subjects in the adverb clause and independent clause are different. So the reduction should not be done. Why? Because this subject is different from this subject. Okay? Is that clear? All is clear. Clear. Yes. Okay, very good. Yes. So let's do the exercises then, okay? So can you see now? Very easy. Tip, tip. I can see right here the word after. You remember the word after, before, since, and while? While. Okay, while. so can you see it right here? So this is the dependent clause. So here is the adverb Clause reduction. Brainstorming. Now let's analyze. What is the subject? The subject the is development. The, the, the product development team. Development. Right? The product development team finish brainstorming. So the product development team if is essential to discuss ideas. So you see this subject is the same as this subject. It's the same. Yes. It's the yes. same. It's talking about the same subject. Okay? So we can make a reduction because the subject is the same. Okay, let's do it. So what is it? I'm going to put it right here. Okay? So it will be after because the word after is right there. So after, after what? Can you tell me? Finish. We eliminate the subject. Okay, so we eliminate the subject. What is the verb? Finish. Finish. Right? Finishing. Finishing. But they say that we need to add the ing to the verb. So after finishing, brainstorming. Brainstorming. Comma, and the rest is the same. After finishing brainstorming, after finishing brainstorming,
So after finishing brainstorming, it is essential to discuss ideas that are not feasible. 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 Do you understand? You remember what is the meaning of feasible? Factively. No. You remember? Feasible. Okay. Feasible. 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 Questions? No questions? Questions. No. questions. No. Okay, yeah. now, can you do the second one? Everybody, everybody, let's do it together. I don't want to do it. You do it. You tell me what to do, and I will do it here. What is number one? We have to analyze the subject. What is the subject here? The manager. The manager. The manager. And what is the subject here? He. 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 The he. manager, he. too. The same. Right? It's the same. He and the manager. Uh -huh. the it's the same. Very good. So what am I going to write then? Okay. Eliminate. For listing. Eliminate. For listing the weaknesses of the company. Ah, very good. Excellent, students. Okay, let me see. So before, it before says listing. before. What is the what is the verb? Listen. 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 But it says that Listen. I have to add ing. Listen. So Listen. Listing. 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 Before listing the weaknesses of the company on a slide before listing the weaknesses, the weaknesses of the company on a slide, it says, right? On a slide, on a I think slide. that's what it says. Mm -hmm. On a slide, that is correct, okay? Before listing the, weakness, the weaknesses of the company on the slide, now, the manager, he, he had presented new products to help the company increase sales. He, I'm going to put this right here. Okay. He had, he had presented, etc. Is that clear, guys? Yeah, teacher. Before we sent the... Okay, so he had presented. Very easy. Remember, the first thing, the first thing that you have to look for is if the subjects are the same. If the subjects are the same. That is the first thing that you have to check. Okay, now can you do number three? Now, okay. can you wait? I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question. Is this is this the dependent clause or the independent clause? Independent clause. Independent clause. This is the dependent clause. Why? Because it begins with the word while so the albert clause is here is here okay so this is going to be the same i'm going to okay i'm going to copy that andrew kept text messaging okay so let's see andrew Andrew kept text <sighs> messaging. Messaging. Okay, comma. While he was in a video conference. While he was in a video conference. So I come back here to the board. Oh, let me see. Okay. 
text messaging. Okay. While, and I'm going to write right here. While. Now, they say eliminate the subject. What is the subject? Andrew. Andrew. Yeah, no, but eliminate the subject in the in the dependent clause, in the, in the adverb clause. What is the subject there? He. He. Uh -huh. he. What is the subject here? He. And what is the verb he. right here? What verb is this? Be. The verb be in the past. Okay? So I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to say, while the verb be. Ah, oh, here is the verb be, but they said add ing while being in a video conference about in a video conference about and the rest is history the same. Is that clear? Yes. Why yes. In a video conference. No, any all. questions? Do you have any questions? So Andrew kept text messages while being in a video conference about whatever. Okay. Yes or yes? Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. Very good. So let me erase this now. So what happened? Ah, it's time for check the attendance, okay? Okay. Gather, gather. The other is not here. Blanca Estela Perez. Present this chair. Thank you. Maria Eugenia Cruz de Magaña. Maria Eugenia. It's not here. Okay, Bessie Anayensi. Bessie Anayensi. Bessie and Agency Jovel Valiente. Present. Ah, present, okay. present. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you now. Oscar okay. Eduardo Majano. Present. Thank you. Raul Mauricio Rivera. Present. Thank you. Eh, Nini B. Saray. Present. Thank you. Marta Beatriz Alegría. Present. Okay, thank you. Álvaro Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Rafael René Molina. Present Mike. teacher. Okay, very good. Present. María okay. Delina Araya. Present teacher. Thank you. Alicia Carolina López. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Eh, Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Thank Present. you. Cecilia. Who don't make it? Daniel Osvaldo Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. Verónica Beatriz Mendoza. Oh, what happened with Verónica today? Absent, huh? Verónica. Verónica. Ana del Carmen Núñez. Hey. Okay, thank you. Andrea Alexandra. Absent. Kenya. Kenya. Absent. And Vanessa Alexandra Arma Rosales. It's absent today. Okay, very good. So let's continue, guys. Let's go back to the book. Can you see the book? No. No, yes. No. Here, please. 
And now? No. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, now let's analyze number four. Many promising product ideas. So that is the subject. Many promising product ideas. That is the subject. A rule out after they fail to produce. What is this? After many promising product ideas is the same subject. Can you see? They both refer to the same thing. Are we clear? Yes. Okay. Now, where is the advert clause? Can you tell me where is the advert clause? When at the end? The second, the second sentence. Aha, uh -huh, it's right here. All uh, is yes, this. Yes. Uh -huh, all this is the advert clause. So this is what mm -hmm. I'm going to reduce. So he says, okay, the same thing. Many pro uh, promising product ideas are ruled out. After producing. Right. Fail. Okay, so R rule out. So I'm going to put it right here like this, okay? R ruled, R ruled out uh, after, after. So I'm going to make the subject disappear. So what is the verb that it comes after after? So the verb is fail. fail. Uh -huh. So fail. I'm going to do it with ing. Right after, oh, I'm sorry. They are ruled out after failing. And after failing, you see the rest is the same. Yeah. Okay? Very simple. So, yeah. many promising, promising product ideas are ruled out after failing to produce positive results in the SWOT analysis. Okay, very good. The next one. The weaknesses of a company. That is the subject. The weaknesses of a company can be transformed into opportunities after a careful, a careful contingency plan. So are the subjects the same? Are the subjects the same? No. Here they are talking about the weaknesses of a company, and here they're talking about a careful plan. What, what are, Can you see it? What are the phrases? I can see. Number five, right here. The weaknesses of a company. We cannot see. We cannot see the. Ah, I haven't shared. Book. Ah, okay. Wait, wait. Uh -huh. Okay, wait, let Please. me share. <laughs> okay, no problem. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you, no teacher. Problem, teacher. Sorry. So, the weakness of, of a company, can you see it now? Yes. yes. No. No. Yes. Yes, yes. The yes. weaknesses okay. of a company, yes. Uh -huh. So, yes, the weakness of, of a company, that is the subject of the independent cloud. Now, let's see the. Uh -huh. Now let's see the dependent clause after a careful contingency plan. So is this subject the same as this subject? No. No, right? They are, are different. Not the same. Are not so the same. we cannot no, make the no. advert reduction. We cannot reduce the advert clause. Okay. Very simple. Okay. Now the next one right here. Before you, before you present a new idea, 
He says right here, you need, you, you. you need to present <clears throat> a detailed list. So are the subjects the same? Yes. Yes, they are the same. Yes, the same. So I'm going to eliminate the U and I'm going to add ing. So I'm going to say before. So I'm going to say before presenting. Okay, so I'm going to start right here before. I eliminate the subject, the verb is present, and they ask me to add ing to it. Okay, so Chad is presenting rich and the rest Are you working? is history presenting. Okay. Questions? A question. A question. And the rest is exactly the same. You write the same. Okay, <laughs> questions? Presenting, no. Before yes, presenting. Yes. Okay, questions? No questions. No, no questions, okay, very good. So let's go back. Let's go back to the book. So that was reducing adverb clauses. Now we remember that we talk about strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats, right? And then you remember this, complex, complex, uh, making the verb agree with complex subjects. One of the good things, anybody can think that this is plural, but it is not because we're talking about one of the good things. So it's singular, that's why the verb here is singular is that clear yes. now here the air force ah that is plural ah okay so the bird has to agree with the subject right the bird has to agree with the subject okay any questions any questions okay. No questions. no questions. No questions. Are you sure? No. Yeah. Totally sure. <laughs> <laughs> because if you're not sure, we can do it again. Very easy. Teacher. What? Uh, in which uh, black, war, uh, black white are you working? Right now, I'm working on this, that is the Adobe. Adobe. Ah, this one, Adobe. with this one, right? I'm working with this one. But when I go here, this is the Zoom. You see, I go, I come over here and I say, I want, I want that they, I want to share, I want to share them, the, the, the board. So I give them the, the board. And then there is a board. This is Zoom's board. Yes, that. This that. is Zoom's board. What? This is <laughs> Zoom's. The platform Zoom. Zoom. This is Zoom's board. Esta es la pizarra de Zoom. Oh, yeah. Okay? This is Zoom's board. Okay, very good. Now, let's go back to the book, right? So, we what were page, saying... Teacher? I'm sorry? What page? Ah, we are on page number 14. Number 17. This is page 17. Thanks. Okay, so let's analyze the next one. Some difficult decisions. Now, is this subject singular or plural? Plural. Okay, so that's why here I don't write an S. Right, but if I say a difficult decision to make refers to fancy material, why? Because the subject is singular, but in this case, it's plural. Now, one of the most important factors is this subject singular or plural? Plural, singular. It's singular because uh -huh. I'm talking about one, one, one. Of the most important. That's why. One. 
the verb has to match the subject. Okay? Is that clear? Okay. Yes. Yeah, clear yes, as the water of the Astro yeah. River. Okay, very good. So let's go and practice. Okay, let's see what it says right here. Okay, page 18. This is page 18. Uh, how to achieve verb agreement with the complex with complex subjects. Okay, so here we go. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Subjects that are preceded by expressions of quantity are called complex subjects. They take either singular or a plural verb form, depending on the number, singular or plural of the quantifier. So here, the first of the decision, is this singular or plural? Singular. 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 So you see, it's a singular. Here I don't write have. I write has because it's a singular subject. Has. And you remember in the present, he, she, and it has. Are you we they have? So that's why I write has. Has been made to go ahead with the plan. Now here the okay. first refers to one of the decision. So the verb must be in the singular form, has. One of the good things is the same thing I like about working with you. It's so is singular. this subject singular or plural? Singular. singular. Okay, so that's why here we, singular. we use the singular form of the verb be, which is is. Here, one is a symbol of various good things. So the verb must also be singular, is. That clear? Very simple. Yes. Very yes. simple. Okay, let's continue. Now, find some difficult decisions. Now, is this a plural or a singular subject? Plural. It's plural, plural right? To make in relation to fancy material, so you can you see the verb to be? Has to be plural. Is that clear, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. I'm glad. I'm glad that you hear some refers to more than one difficult decision. So it is plural. So the verb must be plural. Are a majority in a number. A majority in a number always take plural verb when they are used with plural nouns. Example, a majority of product developers. So you see it's plural prefer to use blind test. Okay, now you tell me what is the correct one, have or has? Have. Uh, have. 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 Now, have. Let's see, is this subject singular or plural, guys? Plural. Plural, plural right? So the answer must be? Have. 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 That is correct. Have. The answer must be have. Okay, now, what about number two? Is it is or is it are? You tell me. Analyze the uh, subject, please. Is. 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 Okay, and now, is the subject singular or plural? Singular. Singular. Okay, one of one. the factors is talking about one. So it's singular. So here it's supposed to be is, is only. Okay, very good. Now, the next one, a number of customers is or are? Is. Are. Is. Are. Is. Are. Is. Is. Are. Now, he's are. talking about one customer or many customers? Many customers. Many customers. Ah, many customers. So you are correct. This is plural. So this has to be are. Is that clear? Because yes. Yes. It is plural. The subject is plural. Okay, very good. Now, what is this? Is or are? Is. 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 The is. first of Singular. the suggestion is, is. talking is. about first. only one suggestion, first. right? Is. So first. Here is supposed to be? Is. 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 Very good. Very good. You are great. 
a majority of testers have or has? Has. Has. Has is singular. Has. 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 Have. Have. Okay, no, here is talking about here. They say a majority of product developers. Have. So it's have. plural, right? Because here it's plural. Is plural. So plural. here the same. A majority of testers. Okay, so it must be have. Have. Yes, it must be have. Have. Okay, very good. Next. What is this? Suggest or suggest? <laughs> suggest. Yes, yes. Suggest. Yes. No. What is this plural. subject? Singular. It's plural. It's plural. It's plural. plural. It's plural. plural. Yeah. Must be. Here must be suggest, right? Because it's plural. Suggest. Is that clear? Very simple. Okay, now let's do this quiz. Let's do this quiz. Quick. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm going to copy this on. Uh, mm. Okay, very good. So, you see that what you have on the book is a test right here. That is that test right here. What? What is this? Uh oh. Let me see. Let's do it again. Oh, he doesn't want to. Okay, now we're going to go to this one then. The teacher is not is not there. No, I'm right here. I'm right oh, here. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm right here. Don't worry. I'm right here. Okay. Can you can you see what I have on the board? Can you see oh. what I have on the screen? No. The PDF. The, the PDF. Book. Okay. Sorry. The now, book. what about this? You remember this? Okay. You remember, yeah. right? Okay, so this is something that I that is in the book that you can study. These are not exercises; are only explanations. You you remember that I explained this before? Okay, so I'm not going to stay with this because this is very simple. Okay, so you study it. Remember that you can go to the link. Now I want to go to the other link, but it doesn't let me. Let's see if I can do it now. No. It doesn't show us what we want today. Sorry. Okay, so let's move on with the book. Okay. Now, do you remember this? 
Vocabulary. Aha. Testing. Yes, Testing methods. What is number one? Yeah, let's see. Who wants to read number one? Volunteer. Yes. Me. I just Me. see soon, teacher. I cannot see. Your ah, screen. You cannot see. Yes, Sorry. I see the screen of soon. <laughs> now, can you see it now? No. 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 Are you sure? Yes. yes. Uh, your see soon. And now? Yes. 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 Okay, the book. So who wants to read the first one? Me. me. Okay, go me. <laughs> consumers. <laughs> consumers. Uh -huh, consumers use emails. or sign and handle one product. Then another and ask to indicate ask. which of ask. Another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Okay, so which method is that? By the compassion test. Exactly. Comparison very test. good, very good. Pair comparison test. Pair comparison test. Very good. Okay, Madeline, read number two. A consumer use the product in real circumstance and uh, they use a product site, handle it in ready later. Okay, so what method is that? It's number six. Sequential no, method. No, it's not the sequential. Five. It's number five. Is the monadic method. Monadic method. Okay, Bessie, read the next one, please. Bessie, Bessie, are you there, Bessie? Bessie? Can I breathe? It's I'm busy. here. Okay, but go I'm ahead. Number three? Yeah, no, take yeah, the, that one. Consumers. Consumer, consumers take the product to be used either as a sample or for an ex extended period as they will usually use it in their own home. Okay. I so think is number two, use test. Exactly, yeah. very good, excellent. Okay, uh, Maria Beatriz, or Marta Beatriz. What is the answer to the teacher? What is the answer for it's the- use, use test. Number use two, test. use test, okay. Use test. Okay. Use Okay, the next one. Me. Consumers are aware of the brand they are trying. These tests better, better reflect the real world experience and the value of the brand. The value, value, the value brand of the brand. Test. Branded test. Uh -huh. so Branded test. Is? Branded, Branded, Branded test. test. Very Branded. good. Okay, now let's go uh, with the guy. I'm going to participate. Go ahead, go. I'm here. Yeah, go. Consumers use a product sign it, it sign it and handle it. They rate it, then they use sign and handle another product and rate it. The consumers does not rate both products against each other. Against each this other. What method is that? Sequential. Sequential. Uh -huh, very good. That is sequential. the sequential. Monadic method. Okay, now another volunteer. Raul. Me. Ah, go, go. <laughs> this test is a good option when there are significant tactile or visual elements of the products for consumer to experience. 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 Aha, uh -huh, very good. So what is that? Sign and handling test. Sign and handling, Sign and handling, and handling, handling test. test. Very good. And Number one. Another volunteer, different volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Can Go I? Ahead. Okay. Thank you. Product are tested on branded. So the customer focus is strictly strictly on the product characteristic and not on the brand name. Aha, uh -huh. now, pronunciation. 
eh, focuses. 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 Okay, very good. Sorry. What test method is that? Blind test. Blind test. Yeah, blind test. That is a blind test. Okay, blind. Good. I have a Number question. Four. What is your question? What is the meaning strictly? Is a like strictly. a strictly. Okay, now, when you were 17 or when you were 15, were your parents strict? Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Thank you. Okay, and so it's strictly. Handle? Huh? And other word, I have a question. The meaning is handle it. Handle it. Manejar. Yeah. Thank you. Consumers use a product, cite it, and handle it. Okay, very good. More questions? Yes, no more. I, I have no. a question. What is your what question? Is answer? What is uh, the answer in number seven? In number blind seven, test. products are tested on branded. Blind that is blind test. Blind test. Blind test. Blind, blind, blind test. Okay, very good. Let's continue. The next one is. Transition words. Do you remember transition words? Transition. Can I change? Uh huh. Remember, when you have one idea, one sentence, or one paragraph, and you yeah. want to join yeah. with another yeah, idea, formal. with another sentence, or with another <laughs> paragraph, with the meaning of addition. So you, then you use a transition words, okay? For example, here, the, he, will we work with targeted or random sample? That is one idea. So he's gonna join this idea with this other idea. So in order to do that, they use a transition word that in this case is in addition. It's like a connector, teacher. It's a connector, exactly. So the only thing, uh, we have different types of connectors. We have subordinated, uh, co uh, subordinated words, coordinating words, and we have uh, transition words. Okay, all are connectors. For example, have you heard and? And is a connector because it connects two things, two ideas. But is a connector. But but connects with the sense of contrast. Okay. Now with negative meaning. Now, for example, you say another connector is or. I want an apple or a banana. So, or is a connector. It connects two things, but with choice, with choice. Now, the negative or, or of or is nor. I don't want an apple nor a banana. No quiero ni una manzana ni una banana. So, nor is also a connector. So, all these words are connectors. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, teacher, very good. Teacher, can you spell me the contract or the the or, please? Uh -huh, okay. I Okay, I will ask you to turn off that microphone for a moment, please. Okay, very good. So, uh, or is when you are going to join two ideas with the meaning of choice, election. For example, I want an apple or a banana. Okay, can you see? I connect, yes, I connect two things with or. And because I'm, I'm asking, I'm, I'm giving the, the meaning of election, choice. 
Okay? Now, the negative, the negative of this is... I don't know one. The negative of this is... Nor. nor. Okay, in this case, I want an apple. I don't want an apple. I don't know one. I don't, I don't want an apple. One, an apple. Nor. 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 A oh, banana. Okay. So, in this one is a uh, is an election, and this one is an election, but in a negative sense. And this is an election in an affirmative sense. So the connector in this case is nor. Okay. In Spanish. No quiero ni una manzana ni una banana. When you get capricious. <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay, is that clear? Yes, so, it's that clear. Or ignore our connectors. Okay? Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, now let's go. Let's move on. Okay, so we're gonna go to the book. Can you see it? Yes. Now, here, yeah. you can also, ah, you can also connect from the beginning. Furthermore, it is necessary, you see, I am connecting this paragraph, I am connecting it with this paragraph. Furthermore. Do you understand? So I am connecting all this idea to this other idea using furthermore. So okay. furthermore is necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. That clear? Okay. Yes? Yes. And like I explained you before, Okay, I'm just gonna show you this. Like I explained to you before, a transition words. Okay, so we have all kinds of transition words. Okay. Now, agreement, addition, and similarity. So we use all these expressions to show, agree, to join one idea with another one in the terms of agreement or addition or similarity. All of this. Can you see them? There are a lot. Now, if I want to use opposition, limitation, now, to join two ideas, but the meaning is opposition, limitation, or contradiction, I'm going to use all these transition words, okay? That's why in the, in the homework, they show you some of this, even though, and some others like this. Is that clear? Now, if I am going to join two ideas, or two sentences or two paragraphs and the connection is cause, condition or purpose, I'm going to use these transition words. If the purpose to join the sentences, ideas or paragraph is to show examples, support or emphasis, I'm going to use these transition words, okay? But the purpose is to join, to join. Okay? Any more questions? Questions? No. No. Teacher. No. no? Okay, no, now. No questions. Okay, now this is what we have. And what are focus groups? You remember focus groups? And here it says to end up this uh this part. Transition words like in addition, furthermore, moreover, and besides, add information. So they join one idea, one sentence, or another paragraph 
with adding information, reinforce ideas, and express agreement with ideas that have been presented previously. Okay? okay? Questions? Now, the punctuation is important. No Notice that the transitions in addition, and furthermore, in A and B are preceded by a question. So you see, can you see they are preceded by a question? Okay? So, and followed by a comma. So you present the uh, the uh, transition word of addition and followed by a comma. Now, in this one, the transition, moreover, is preceded by a semicolon. Can you see it right here? Because here we have a period. Here is two ideas in the same sentence. So you have to separate it with a semicolon. And after the transition, a comma is necessary. Okay, followed by a comma. Clear? Now, it's time for you to give me questions. Okay? Now, the next topic are the focus group. You remember this vocabulary? Targeted sample? Yes. yes. Like, like, for example, if I am going to, if I want to know in a focus group the perception of of chocolates, I will have to ask children and teenagers. So that is targeted sample. Now, random sample is when I'm going to ask anybody. Senior, toddler, woman, man, Salvadorian, Chinese, so that is random sample. And this is targeted sample, when I know who I'm going to ask. Now, what is a competitive threat and unbiased? Questions. What is unbiased? Unbiased. Unbiased is like, for example, uh, justice. Justice is biased. Oh, okay. right? But unbiased is when I, like for example, the newspapers have to be unbiased. They cannot take one side, okay? No, they have to be balanced, biased. They have okay, to have okay, okay. balance, right? <laughs> okay, more questions. Thank you. And the focus groups. You remember the focus groups? Mm -hmm. And that's all. Yes. Now, ask me your questions, please. Ask me your questions. One by one. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Uh -huh. Do, you have, do you have any questions? What about? What about what? What about your question? Ah, questions. I don't have any questions. <laughs> this is what I think uh, you needed to be explained. Now, probably. Now, ah, I want to tell you this. Ah, uh, for example, uh -huh. Alvaro. Remember, Alvaro, now let me. No. Okay, Alvaro. Alvaro, you need, you have in homework number two, which is section, the, uh, the homework in section number two, you have 60%. So section two, do the homework again, okay? So you can improve that 60% and get a better grade. Is that clear? Which, which one, teacher? Section Can you repeat? Two. The... Section two. Let me show you okay. what section number two. There is a... Sorry, teacher.
sure there is too much noise in a microphone. Sorry, excuse Alex, me. Yeah, please, turn off your microphone, please. Turn off your microphone, please. Okay, now let me see. Uh, right here. Okay. Okay, let me share the screen in a minute. Okay. Okay, now. Uh, here. Let me see what I have it on ah, right here. Okay, this is in the platform. For example, uh, we have four sections. So in the second section, you need to go. Yes. Okay, you need to go to homework 2.2 and do it again. Now, if you have 100%, don't do this anymore. Is that clear? Now, in this one. Now, if in, in this one, you don't have 100%, do it again. 2.5, do it again if you don't have 100%. 2.8, do it again. And 2.11, do it again if you don't have 100%. Because right now, the average the average of these four homeworks is 60. So you okay. can improve your grade. You can do them again. That clear? And 2.14. Okay, the next one is... Maria Adelina, you also Thanks have to it. check. You also have to check, okay? Because you have average 80%. So you can go, and if you don't have 100% here, do this one again until you get 100%, okay? The other ones are Oscar and Raul. Oscar and Raul, and on this section, you have 40%. So do them again, please so you can get a better percentage. And then Alicia and Alvaro and Raul haven't done the midterm. Now, go ahead and do the midterm. And remember, if you don't get 100% in the midterm, do it again. No problem, you can do it again. Is that clear? Okay, yeah. Okay, now, what questions do you have? Teacher. Yes. Uh, let me just uh, uh, understand what you are saying. Um, we are not going to section number three. Not yet. Section number three okay. is unit three. Section we number are... three is unit number three, which is this one. Okay, this is section not number yet. three. Oh, As you can see, the book has four units, okay? So each unit we... is one section, okay? So when we finish unit number three, or as we are doing unit number three, you can do the exercises from that section, okay? So you see each book, each course has right. four units, okay? So section number one Teacher. is unit number one. Section number two is unit number two. Section number three is unit number three. And section number four is unit number four. And okay. I have a question. Yes. In the part that say the exam, we, did, we do or oh, no? Uh, yes. That's what I said here, midterm. Yes. Midterm exam. Okay, now the majority, all of you have done the exam. Only three, four, five of you haven't done the exam. Do you understand? And all yeah. of them have gotten 100%. So Alicia, Alvaro, and Raul, go ahead and do the exam. And Marta Beatriz, do the exam, please. Okay? Aye. And and like I said before, if you don't get 100%, you have the chance to correct the wrong answers. Is that clear? And do it again. Is that clear, Beatrice? Yes. Yes? 
I'll teacher go and yes ask me ask me right now hello hello yes hello i'm listening hello teacher we we put a little paragraph or or our ideas in the videos right yeah okay let's see okay very good now talking about this okay now i'm gonna go to section number two okay now for example i'm gonna say video okay this one okay so you don't have to write a paragraph it's just your opinion okay or to give or, or to talk about that for example here still loading hold on okay here so the discussion is what is what is the product testing that you use when you go to buy at the supermarket so for example i put the answer my answer this is my answer i use the handling test because i need to buy shoes i need to touch them so you go ahead and tell us your experience having to agree first with complex subjects so what is your experience oh I didn't know that sometimes the subjects are singular. They look singular, but they are plural. Or oh, I didn't know that some subjects are complex, but you have to uh, take a look at them and analyze if they are singular or plural. Do you understand? Exactly as we did the practice today. So you give your comment. I like for me, for me, what was my comment? For me, it was amazing when you have singular subjects join with and to make plural subjects right for example two singular subjects two singular subjects make a plural subject so then you have to make the verb agree with that plural subject so you write your comment you write your comment yes your comment what are the following right here you see nobody ah yeah I have to practice, Vanessa Alessandra, I have to practice because for me, sometimes in confuse the subject closest to the verb, okay? That was her comment. Rafael, well, for me, it's a very new topic and it's easy to get confused. It's not easy to understand for me, okay? Uh, Osman, these topics require more study and more practice. Dan Dan Daniel, the topic is difficult, but we have to practice. Uh huh. Can you see? So you have to write your comments. Is that everybody write comments? Okay. That was in uh, okay. video conference number number seven. But each video conference, I'm gonna go back. Okay. Each video conference has its own has its own question. For example, let's go to number 11. Transitions of addition. So here I put, okay. Okay, so that is the video, right? So the topic was, what's your point of view of focus groups? Example that depends on the type of product because, and then you can give your point of view. Here, no one has given their point of view. Okay, is that clear? So here you have to write what is yes, your point of view of the focus groups. Ah, for me, focus okay. group oh, is a new thing. Hey, I participated on a focus group and I won $100. Perfect. That is your opinion. Is that clear? So you go to the forum okay. and express yes, yes. what you feel about the topic. Okay? More questions? Okay. okay. What else? Uh, remember, we have the video. 
So you can watch it again, okay? Like for example, if you want to do the midterm tomorrow, you watch, for example, what it was today's class. And you say, ah, the teacher explained the reducing adverb clauses and I understood. So I'm gonna check it out again before I do the, I do the homework or I do the midterm. So you check it out and it's right here, right? That is in section number one. Remember section number one is unit one. So that was in unit one. Okay, so you click right here and you go to advert clauses, reduce advert clauses. So you come over here and you have that video conference. So you can go and see that video conference again. And you see here, a lot of people have already commented on this. Okay. Questions, more questions. Show all posts, all posts. There are only four posts. So you go ahead and write your post about this. Express your opinion. Talk in English as much as possible is what we need to do to be fluent. Okay, that was my post. What was your post? Some people say, how to reduce adverb clauses of time? Adverb clause after you present a new idea to the boss. Okay, so here you see, after presenting a new idea, very good. Ah, the only problem here is you see the subject right here is you. And can you see the subject right here is we. So we cannot make the reduction. We cannot reduce the adverb clause because they are different subjects. Is that clear? So this is not possible. Okay, more questions. Tell me more questions. More questions. Now you see you are on the videos, you are famous. <laughs> Smiling only. <laughs> okay, more more questions. More questions, guys. You see, using the platform is very easy. Yeah. Okay, it's very easy. You go like for example, section two right now, you click right here. And homework 2.5 is about testing new products. That is the homework about testing new products. So, okay, you got to check the answers. Okay. okay. I have a question. What is uh, your question? In some videos, I, I found the, the, the this the topic for express my opinion. Really? Ah, yes, in some it, videos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, because it, there are some that don't have. There are some that okay, don't okay. have. Okay, because you didn't write anything. No, because you don't have. For example, I don't remember I which found, one. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't remember which yes, one. But I found it, that that. Uh -huh. You can't write a post because it doesn't allow you to write a post. I all the time that I upload the video, the okay. next day I check because I have to write uh, a question or a point of discussion. Okay. Right? And then okay. you you write your comments about that. But there are some. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and in this case, we 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 don't write. Uh, any. Only in those cases, but if, for example, if you come over here on this one, and there is a, you see, I'm clicking on 2.3, video conference number eight, and in this one, yeah, there is a discussion. You can see the complex adverb. So the topic it was, so you post a, a discussion, okay? It's right here, the question. OK, 
Okay, so you come over here and add a post. Okay, okay for example, here is a question title uh, this product, is the, testing. This is, uh -huh. product testing. We have to write in this case. Wait, product testing. Uh -huh. Okay, so. Uh, have you ever thought about testing products? So that's a question. So you write your post on that. You see, I submit that. Hey. And then you write your post. You come over here and you start writing your post. Okay? Okay. So okay. you're going to hear, okay. Is that clear? Yes. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Very good. You see more famous people here. <laughs> okay. More questions, guys. We still have three minutes. What questions do you have? I don't have any questions. Teacher, I got a question. Uh huh. What is your question? If I I complete to write co a comment in the videos, why the videos don't get a green chat? Ah, because uh, Insafor only wants to check your writing. Okay, uh, and this is a way that they can check that you are writing. Okay, that you are participating not only in the videos but also in writing. That's why they, besides the grammar and vocabulary okay. that they have in the homework and in the test, they want to see, they want to see how you write. So that's why it's important to participate. Yeah. Okay? Because well, they, I, they I check the platform I, I, to see if you are participating. As for example, in, a, okay. in another, uh, let me see. I don't know if you saw that, uh, for example, let's see, fair agreement. That's, that was the one that we checked. Video conference number seven, right? Yeah. So that's why I ask you to participate because if I they, write see, comment, uh, the they see, don't get they the see your name on it. Wait a little bit. Yeah, I participate. I write a comment in the video. Uh -huh, and conference, your name is right there. But right? they don't got a check. Yeah, they don't have a check exactly, but they watch yeah. it anyway. There is a team that, uh, uh oh. oh. Uh huh. So there is a team that uh, are, are doing that. Okay. Okay, any more questions? Let me see. Yeah, I got the idea I don't do it well. I'm sorry, I couldn't okay. hear you. Thanks, teacher. Okay, thank you very much for your time, okay? I really appreciate. Now, uh, remember, uh, hey. Alicia, Alvaro, Oscar, and Rafael, <laughs> Go and do again section number two, the ones that you don't have 100, and do the midterm, okay? In the case of Raul, Alicia, and Alvaro, and Maria Eugenia. No, Maria Eugenia, no. And Maria Beatriz, Marta Beatriz, okay? Now, let's check the attendance real quick. Gather. Gather. Hello, Jader. I'm checking attendance. Jader. Jader, absent. Absent. Okay, absent. Blanca Estela. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. Maria Eugenia. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. 
Betsy and Ayensi? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Oscar Eduardo? Present. Okay, very good. Raul Mauricio Rivera? Present. Thank you. Ninibe? Present. Present. Okay, Marta Beatriz Alegría. Okay. <laughs> Marta Beatriz Alegría. Present, I'm here. Okay, alegre, está alegre. Álvaro Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael uh, René Molina. Present, sir. Thank you. María de Araya Menéndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Alicia Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Osman Enrique. Osman Enrique. Absent. Absent. No. No. Cecilia. Daniel Osvaldo. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Verónica Beatriz. Absent. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Present Thank teacher. You. Andrea. Absent. Kenya. Absent. And Vanessa absent. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Remember, at five o'clock, I will be uploading the grades. Okay, so make sure that you do the okay. midterm at five and okay. you recheck the, the homework that you have low grades. Okay, remember, you can do it as many times as you want. Okay, okay. everybody gets 100. Okay? At, at, at five o'clock. Okay. Okay, yeah, at five o'clock in the <laughs> afternoon. So you have all day tomorrow okay. or okay, we, tonight. Okay. You need to spend the meeting, right? Until unit two, until you, section two. Okay. 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 So very right. good. Thank, Thank you, good night, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.